y'all it's denise and i am here in my studio once again um always in my studio and uh, i want to share a little quick little quick uh tutorial with you um i you can't really tell from looking at this or maybe you can at one time this was a painting it was about, I think it was like a 24 by 12. And it was a really nice little painting. I love the colors, but it was never gonna go anywhere. It's just been in my storage. Uh, so I took the canvas off the frame and um, I cut it up. Uh, it's gonna be something else now. It was kind of, you can see the figure of the, the woman, contemplative woman, woman. It had a pear and a butterfly, all really subtle. I had some really cool map, um, top, topographical maps in it, and just layers and layers of paint that I really liked. So what I'm gonna do, I'm getting ready to start another little series, and this is gonna be my um, starting off point. So I'm taking a stack of those, and I have a stack of 12 by 12 birch boards that I bought on Amazon um, because they all are perfectly the same size. Um, I didn't this time go to the lumber store, hard Home Depot or Dixie Line and have it cut because it was pretty affordable just to go ahead and do it right online with Amazon. And I'm not um, going to gesso these because eventually I'm going to put some plaster on them. But for right now, I'm going to add pieces of this painting onto these boards just in different locations. And they're going to be my starting off point for all of these boards. So I've got my stack here. I'm not going to put a lot of thought into it. I'm just going to take, and I'm using a extra heavy gel mat. Um, doesn't matter if it's a, a gloss or gel mat. Um, I just want to get something strong enough that's going to hold these this canvas with layers of paint on it onto my boards. And, um, you know, nothing, nothing, I have no plans. This is the only plan is to have a starting point. So each of these boards will um, have a piece of this painting on them. And, uh, and that will be my color palette. Somehow I'll be working off of this as a color palette. And I'm using my color shaper to kind of just get that glued down. And there you go. Let me make sure I got all my ripples out. And I'll move on to the next. And I'm, I'm putting it on the back first, um, my medium, before I put it, uh, rather than put it on the board so I can really have a little bit of options where I want this to go. Um, maybe not there because that's not that important of a piece. So maybe I just want to put this down here. I hope I have that up there where you can see them. And then I'll just stack them up. Get my next one. Now this one's a little bit more important. That uh, the female figure on here. So I just want to make sure I get a good coverage of the gel on the back. Put a little bit of gel on my board. And put that right there. Now, as I'm going, another thing to think about, because you really, you know, for me, I don't know where this series is gonna go. I just know this is where I want it to start. But another thing that you could be thinking about while you're doing this is, um, let me see, I'm gonna do, do this into thirds 
And I know that's my sweet spot. That's where I want the focus to be. If I'm going to use something that looks like it's a little bit more important and is, isn't a um, supporting actor, but could be a star, I'm going to put it right in the star location, which would be right here. Because this is the rule of thirds. And if you divide your, your uh, surface into thirds going both vertically and horizontally, these intersections are where the eye goes. Um, those are, are the sweet spots. And this right here is the number one sweet spot. So let's, I'm gonna place this guy right there. And I know when I come back to create something with this canvas, that's where I want it to be the most important. I may put something over top of it to make it more important, but for now, I know that's where I'm gonna start. And, and now visually, if I just keep that in mind for everything that I'm working on here, that is really helpful. Okay, so there we go. I've got one, two, got a couple of these that are just lined up. I'm going back to make sure that everything is laying down. And it looks like they are. And now I'll go back and I'll lay parchment paper in between each one. And then I'll stack a, uh, put a stack of books on them. So I didn't count those. I lost, should have counted to see how many I have. Let's see what we got here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12, 12 by 12s. Oh, actually, I have 12, 13, 14. So I have 14 starts. I don't know which way they're going to go. I don't know. Uh, I have no plan other than there's, there's a starting point. I've got a color palette I'm going to work with. It may vary a little bit in each piece, but I've got my starting point. I know I'm going to be adding plaster in with these. And more than likely, they're going to be florals. But I just kind of wanted to give you an idea 
of something you can do. No painting is a total loss. It may not be something that you want to hang on your wall, but it might be something you want to cut up and add into another piece of art uh, because there's so many fun little elements going on and uh, you don't want to lose that. So there you go. That's what I've got for you today. It's quick. It's easy. It's one of those things you can you can do. You can put aside and you've got boards started and ready to go the next time you're ready to work on a project. So um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and head over to the description, underneath to the description, and um, check out my website, my Instagram, and um, I'll see you the next time in the studio. Bye.